What's up guys? Welcome to Bath and Shower Tile Ideas episode 11. Let's show you some before and after photos and then we'll talk about what material we use for this bathroom remodel and shower build. All right guys, let's start with the floor tile installation first. We installed a 12 by 24 rectified recycled porcelain made in the USA by Iris, I-R-I-S. We staggered this at a 50% offset. We used a tile leveling system, LevTech, for a flat, lippage-free install, as you can see. The floor turned out great. Here we installed an all-in-one vanity top undermount sink kit from Lowe's. Brushed nickel hardware, top, undermount sink, brushed nickel faucet as well. Here installed was a medicine cabinet. We installed a decorative mirror we're waiting on the decorative light. It's on the way. We'll have that installed next week. New baseboard throughout, toilet. We also installed two four inch LED cams on a dimmer switch. And then you have a vent fan as well. As you can see, a very big transition here. Before we had a five foot by five foot teal 1980s jacuzzi soaking tub. We built a partition wall here to accept the valve, as well as the fiberglass tub. Now this is a curved tub with a curved glass door that helps give you a little more room when you're soaking in there. Let's take a look at the glass doors. This is brushed nickel. Again, the tub and doors from Lowe's. Let's take a look at this shower. A brushed nickel valve and trim kit. Of course, to match all of the other finish in this bathroom. The trim used was Schluter Rondek brushed nickel, which does a great job of complementing the glass and stone mosaic stripe throughout. We wrap the whole shower with that mosaic stripe. The field wall tile is the same as the floor, 12 by 24. Rectified recycled porcelain from USA. Iris is the company. Staggered this at a 50% offset. Started in the center, as you can see, the layout turned out great. Again, we used LevTech tile leveling system for a absolutely flat install. As you can see, there's no lippage whatsoever. There's the shampoo niche. As you can see, we trimmed the niche out with Schluter Rondek brushed nickel. It complements this glass and stone really well. Now, we don't typically follow the stripe through unless we have a stripe on the back of the niche. When we fill the back of the niche 100% with mosaic, we like to install tile around the perimeter so it looks like a picture frame. Shampoo niche turned out great. Well, there you guys have it. Bath and shower tile ideas, episode 11. Stay tuned for episode 12. I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button below.